Hi, this is Yoda, and this is my first video tutorial. Um, I'm going to cover how to create a complete custom weapon for Halo Custom Edition. And by complete, I mean that the tutorial is going to cover modeling, unwrapping, texturing, animating, and tagging your weapon. Um, we're going to do a UMP45, so the first thing only is obviously the downloads that this tutorial came with. When you extract it, it should give you a folder like this one. There may be some other things in here by the end of it, but um, go ahead and look at the reference images. These are the images that you'll need to model the weapon. Um, I'm going to use this one as my main modeling reference. And these two startup files are just, they have some helpful materials and such to, uh, to get you started. So go ahead and open up Max. Um, I just want to work in this viewport, so I'm just going to click this to open it up. So I'm going to set up my reference image. Check the dimensions, it's 800 by 401. I'm going to create a plane. Right click on these to reset them to 1. And then 800 by 401. Hit G to get rid of your graph. Right click each of these to center them to the origin. And rotate that 90 degrees and move it out about 450 on the y-axis. You can hit M to open your material editor. Um, just pick any blank material and choose bitmaps and navigate to wherever those reference images are. Choose that one and apply it. <coughs> After that, right click, hit object properties, turn on back face cull and turn off show frozen and gray then right click and freeze selection that way we won't accidentally click it when we're trying to click something else I'm going to go to my front view by pressing F and start modeling it with a plane over the handle I'm going to work with this blue material here when I model um, just because I have it animated so that it'll turn transparent when, uh, when I change the frame and that makes it easier to see my reference image later so go ahead and right click and convert that to an editable poly and just start lining up vertices with the handle you can click on edges hold down shift and drag them to extrude Just keep on outlining this indented area in here. Just going to insert a vertex there. But then I'm going to make sure to connect these so that I don't leave that face with more than four sides. This section here, right here is raised, so I'm going to go back to perspective by hitting P, extrude that out, and then extrude that across like this, and down. Those to the y-axis again. I'll do that in a minute. All right, extrude that. 
that down. Now you're going to want to move this vertex down. Try to keep that slant the way it was. And then target weld this vertex to that. Alright, and then... That'll do. Now I think I'm going to weld these up because I don't really need them. Alright, that looks good. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take these edges and move them in. yourself a bit of a gap there between the actual edge of the weapon and where that edge is. Um, oh, and I almost forgot. Go ahead and insert another vertex here and connect these. That'll give you something to work with for the trigger guard later. Alright, and now do the same thing with this edge. Drag it in. Now go ahead and extrude those edges back out again. Realign any vertices you need to. Hit P to go back out to perspective. G to turn on your graph. Oh, and I almost forgot again. Um, object properties, turn on back face call. You don't have to do that, but in my opinion it makes it easier to work with. So, go ahead and move this whole thing out a bit and give it a little thickness and then you can go back to first person not first person but uh, front view and center that on the y-axis do the same thing with these edges here move them around however you need to to line it up out to perspective, select these edges, hit connect, and then go ahead and just move that out to round out the hand a little bit. And same thing on this side. Back to front view, go ahead and tweak all these little things again. good. Go ahead and go to polygon and then create like I just did and fill this in. something over here. So go ahead and grab the Y coordinate from that and give it to that point. And then create again. And that one. Alright, there we go. Now, back over here to where we were. Just extrude that out. Target weld that vert and center that one. You're going to want to make sure you save often, 
during all of this. It really sucks to lose work on a model. So I'm just going to call this one UMP45. You can call it whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend saving over your starting setup. Alright. Um, right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to work on the trigger guard itself. Um, which seems a little thick right now. Just move these in a bit. There we go. Polygon. Just delete that one. And start outlining it. I'm going to go ahead and line all of these up. Um, you don't really have to, but it'll make things easier. And it bugs me when they're not lined up, so. And one thing you need to make sure to do is grab this one, center it on the Y axis, and grab this one, center it on the Y axis. And then just keep on extruding these until you've got the whole trigger guard. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select these two polygons, drag them out a bit, just leave a small gap there, and select these two edges, and connect those lined up with the same x coordinate as that point right there. Polygon, scroll down to create again, and fill these in. Now you can go ahead and just fill in this one as a, this gap as well. 